All right, let's start with the big story that we are tracking on Beyond at this hour, where India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi is all set to visit Vladivostok this week. Now, the Prime Minister has been invited as the chief guest for the Eastern Economic Forum to Russia, and this will, of course, be Prime Minister Narendra Modi's third meeting with Russian President this year. Now, the Eastern Economic Forum that is being held from the 4th of September till the 6th will focus on cooperation and investment, and the conference is designed to promote foreign investment in Russia's Far East. Now, the Russian Far East comprises of the Eastern Russian territory between Lake Baikal in eastern Siberia and the Pacific Ocean. And this time around, Russia and India are planning to enhance ties with investments into sectors such as oil, coal, diamond cutting and also a lot more. The Vion will be bringing you all the developments from Vladivostok. And also our political editor, Karthike Sharma, visited the venue of the Eastern Economic Forum. And this is the report that he sent us from there. This is Ruski Island, which is uh, adjacent to the city of Vladivostok. And this is Far Eastern Federal University. Uh, this is where the Eastern Economic Summit is going to take place. The whole university is being uh, decked up for the... Uh, uh, for the arrival of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Uh, a lot of uh, uh, dignitaries are expected from India. A big delegation is expected. Uh, and the importance of this meeting is that he's going to hold uh, a one-to-one -one meeting with President Putin where important issues like nuclear energy, uh, diversification of the field of energy, and specifically in context of defense, certain issues will be uh, taken up. It is expected that this is going to lay the foundation of a new relationship between Russia and India. But then uh, I would say that uh, the importance of uh, this uh, Far Eastern forum is that there's a large Indian uh, diaspora working throughout the Far East. Far East is the new frontier in Asia. Uh, th there are new opportunities in terms of mineral, in terms of mining, in terms of excavation, in terms of agriculture, and both Russia and India have a lot to share. And uh, with the declining population, there is also a feeling, perceptible feeling, in this part of the country that the Chinese are trying to dominate. And Russia wants to diversify in context of foreign contribution, and that is why they want India to have some say and role when it comes to their own Far East. With camera person Shekhar, Karthike Sharma from Ruski Island for Weon. And also the annual bilateral summit between India and Russia will also be held on the sidelines of the forum. And this, of course, is the 20th summit meeting between the two countries. Now, both the sides are expected to ink multiple paths in the field of defense, trade and energy. Curtains are down on the, the G7 summit in France. Focus now shifts to the Eastern Economic Forum here in Russia. Two Indian External Affairs Minister S.S. Shankar and Oil Minister Dharmendra Pradhan will be in Russia. In the first week of September, the Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will participate in the fifth Eastern Economic Forum in Vladivostok. Follow me, Sidhan Sibbal from Moscow, and my colleague Kartike Sharma from Vladivostok for all the live and latest updates from Russia.